Hi, Josh. Hi. Thank you so much for helping my project. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, could you say a couple of words about yourself? Uh, I am a former client services coordinator. I'm currently looking for a job and uh, yeah, just hanging out and I'm playing uh, tabletop war games with, uh, with a buddy of mine. That uh, sounds like a lot of fun. Yep. Uh, and you uh, painted all these uh, uh, characters yourself? The painted ones, yeah. That's really cool. Uh, what does the client uh, services coordinator do? Uh, when I was working, I was uh, scheduling, uh, I, I was handling the schedules for technicians and people in the in IT industry. Oh, okay. Wow, that seems like that would be needed in so many places. Like, uh, yeah, well, it's, yeah, it's been a struggle though. But anyway, uh, but yeah. Um, well, did you know that NASA is planning to send astronauts back to the moon? Uh, I'd heard something along those lines, yeah. What do you think about it? Um, I could think of a lot of reasons why we would want to go back to the moon. So um, I say good for them. <laughs> What's your uh, favorite reason? <clears throat> uh, just sort of the wonder of things that are kind of outside of our, outside of just this planet that we're on. Just if we can successfully get out there, maybe we can go further. So. When you think about how humanity might advance, if you were to think like out in the far distant future, say 200 years, do you see people living their lives on like the moon and Mars and there being like dragon slayers, like equivalents there and people playing like tabletop games? Oh, you mean like, do I, do I, I mean, I could definitely see people in one or 200 years, maybe actually living on colonies on other planets. Sure. Um, and as far as like also playing tabletop war games, uh, on those planets, sure, probably. I mean, you gotta have fun. Um, as far as actually slaying dragons on other planets, no, I don't think that's really uh, well, likely. The Dragon Slayer, you know, like the name of the place. Oh, uh, a, yeah. a Dragon Slayer. A Dragon Slayer, yeah. If, yeah. If, I don't know about 200 years from now, but maybe, maybe, maybe in a couple centuries we'll be opening a Dragon Slayer on Mars. I wonder what it'd be like, um, you know, in free fall with like weightlessness, playing like uh, games, you know, like it opens up so much more, it's no longer just yeah, they I guess all you have stuff uh, like the floating and yeah, I guess I guess depending on the the planetary body's gravity that you're on, you definitely want to keep a good handle on your dice. I'm not sure how you would uh, handle dice rolls if they weren't going to stay on the table. Um, if you could, would you take a trip to space? Um, where we're at now, technologically, no. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, what would it take for you to feel comfortable? Um, at least as good of a safety record as. <laughs> Like a one of our safest major airlines, probably. Yeah. Maybe like uh, one in a million fatalities, or yeah. something like that. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Uh, do you think we'll get to that point in your lifetime? I would hope, but I don't know. I'm I'm dubious that we would that we would get there in my lifetime. Well, cool. Well, uh, Josh, just all the questions I had for you. Uh, right, did great. you have any questions for me or anything else you think it'd be cool to talk about? Oh uh, no, that'll that'll do it. Thanks. Uh, thank. Uh, I'm happy to answer your questions. Thank you so much.